What is going on GBA Universe? My name is Brandon and welcome back for week number three of the Waiver Wire Show. A show where I take a Pokemon that was not drafted, tell you why I think they should have been drafted, and why they should be picked up at some point throughout the season. And today we're doing none other than the water ground type that's always waving at you going like, Hey, it's Quagsire. Now, looking at Quagsire's stats, they're actually nothing to write home about. It's got 95 HP, 85 attack, 85 defense, 65 special attack, 65 special defense, and 35 speed. So unless your name is something like Ferrothorn or Escavalier, you're probably going to find yourself getting outsped if you're using a Quagsire. Now, things Quagsire does well, it's a great defensive wall. When you have Scald and you have some EVs in defense, you get a Scald burn, you're having a good time taking physical hits. It's a good status inflictor, it gets, well, like every Pokemon, it gets toxic, but Quagsire is one of my favorite toxic users just because it's going to take a hit and it's going to get the toxic off. You don't have to worry about it not living and not getting the toxic off. You hit a Quagsire with anything but a grass move, it's probably living, and you're probably getting that toxic off. And because it has access to recovery, Quagsire is a great stall mon. So you, <laughs> you know, you have three moves, protect, toxic, recover, you're going to be doing some damage to something that can hit you back with a grass move, therefore it can be a nice little stall mon. Now there's a couple reasons I think that Quagsire maybe wasn't drafted. It does have that crippling grass weakness as well as free, uh, it's also very weak to freeze dry. It makes it easier to plan for, but not impossible to use because we can see the fact that Gastrodon still gets used in the Counter League format, even though it's very much so a tiny bit better version of Quagsire, still gets a lot of use in League format, so you can still work around it. Uh, reason number two, we saw a lot of unique bulky waters in the game get taken in this draft uh, with the likes of Blastoise, Mega Blastoise, Volcanion, Lantern, and even Gyarados to a degree, all filling the main water roles on their respective teams. So something was going to get left out, it just happened it was going to be Quagsire that got left out, just being one of the bulky waters that wasn't taken in the draft. But reasons that Quagsire should have been drafted can include its amazing typing, it's only weak to grass, and something that I don't hear a lot of people mention when they're talking about Quagsire, you can't Volt Switch on a Quagsire, how great is that? Again, like I said, Quagsire is a bulky water, everybody wants a bulky water on their team in a counter league format, you can see that just by going through the rosters, there's always a good water type on the team. Another point is Quagsire is a tier 5 Pokemon, that means it's very cheap and a very good price for a Pokemon that can probably do quite a bit and it's gonna, probably going to show up on your team for the majority of the season. Not to mention it gives you a major facet of your team being the bulky water for a very good price. But let's head over to Pokemon Showdown and I will show you the kind of torture Quagsire can put you through. Now one of the things that makes Quagsire such a great Pokemon is the ability unaware. That means no one is setting up on a Quagsire because it's just not going to do anything. So what Unaware does is basically ignores all the status changes that your opponent has. So say I'm a Scizor and I'm going for a bunch of Swords Dances and I'm just so I'm dancing around with my swords, juggling them, throwing them in my, I don't know, maybe I'm one of those circus guys who's putting the swords down my throat. It doesn't matter. Quagsire does not care how many swords you have and how well you dance. He does not care. Unaware makes it so if you hit him with a bug bite after all that, he's still going to take the same amount of damage as he would have without you dancing with all those swords. And that is one of my favorite aspects of the Pokemon Quagsire. Now this one is very basic Quagsire. It's got the leftovers, Unaware, Recover, Scald, Toxic, and Earthquake. Scald and Earthquake, you're going to want to uh, have those to capitalize on the stab. Now, I know Quagsire's uh, special attacks, that isn't that great, making Scald maybe like, oh, why would you use Scald? Well, it's, again, it got that chance to burn. With those EVs in defense, you're going to be a complete defensive wall. And if you burn something, it's going to make you even that much more wally. And I just said Wally. But yeah, you know what I mean. Now, since we're running Scald and Earthquake on this set, I wanted to make sure we ran a nature that wasn't going to uh, hinder our special or physical attacks. That's we're running a uh, relaxed nature. That way we're having the good defense, but our speed takes a hit. And at 35 speed, a uh, speed decreasing nature is not a huge deal by any means. Next set we have here is Quagsire with Leftovers, Unaware, Encore, Scald, Stockpile, and Recover. Running 248 HP, 8 defense, 252 special defense. Uh, this is a sassy nature again, speed decreasing nature. I like this Quagsire because you can run it against special mons. As long as you know they're not going to have HP grass, you really have to uh, scout the HP grass first. But once you find out they don't have HP grass, you can just encore them into a move that's not doing a lot of damage to you. Scald and stockpile, and stockpile is just going to make you even more bulky, more and more so. And then you recover when you need to and just kind of chip away at those walls until they're not there. Now the only thing that would like wall this Pokemon completely would be a water absorb mon, so you gotta watch out for that too. And finally we have the Quagsire with Leftovers Unaware, Encore Recover, Infestation, and Toxic. Now this Quagsire we have here kind of does a couple things. Now one of the Pokemon that got a lot of attention last year for doing so well 
was Gothitelle because of how well it trapped Pokemon. Well, this Quagsire kind of does the same thing in its own way. Now, it has the Encore to, you know, Encore Pokemon into doing something they maybe don't want to keep on doing for three to five turns, but it's also got Recover, Infestation, and Toxic. Now, what that's going to do, it's going to allow you to trap your opponent in, and if it's a Pokemon that can't do anything to you, it's going to trap the Pokemon in, you can Toxic it, get the infestation damage and then toxic damage and then kind of trap and eliminate a Pokemon that either threatens another one, maybe one of your uh, sweepers or threatens one of your other defensive mons and you can take it out and have that threat be gone basically because the toxic and the infestation damage are really gonna rack up and can pretty much eliminate just anything you want to eliminate because the infest infestation is gonna trap them and then the toxic's just gonna keep on racking up and racking up. Now, the only thing is you have no attacking move on this set besides infestation which is like I think base 20 but does like it's over uh, over time damage now you could use scald instead of recover but again you might want that recovery if it's they're hitting you over and over again while you're doing the infestation toxic damage so you hit the re you can hit the recover you can have the scald uh, you could even instead of encore bring scald if you don't need the encore you feel like this set is really just going to screw with your opponent though and trap them and you can eliminate any threat you really feel you need to get rid of as long as that threat's not carrying a grass move of any sort to take out your quagsire the great thing about Quagsire is it's going to force your opponent to always bring HP Grass or Grass Knot somewhere on their team. And if they're doing that, then they're taking away another move that they might have had that they're not going to have now because of that Grass Knot or HP Grass. And that is always great because then you can bring something that maybe doesn't take a lot of damage from the HP Grass or the Grass Knot. But that is going to be it for me this week. Make sure you leave in the comments section down below. How do you run your Quagsire? What did I miss? Uh, what kind of Pokemon on the waiver wire do you think should deserve some love? Make sure to like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the GBA on YouTube. Follow on Twitter. All that good stuff. That'll all be in the description down below. But until next week, guys, my name is Brandon, and this has been the Waiver Wire Show.